Gamer Show video. Today I will be doing the Nerf Arsenal video of March 2019, including all the same categories that I included last time, so like Active Strike, Zombie Strike, Modulus, and all of those things. So let's go ahead and get into the first category that I started with last time. So our first category is going to be Zombie Strike, and I don't have many of these blasters, I only have five in total right now. And the first one, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but it's a very small disc shooting one that I got on one of my vacations with my grandparents a couple years back. And I don't have discs, so I've never actually shot this blaster. But I believe I got that for, a, I believe, a dollar, a little more. And then over here, we have the Zombie Strike Jolt, with came, which came with a little thing on the top. You could hold two dots, and you got a little target. And then you also got three targets, the three different sizes. Small, medium, and the large one. And then right here we have the, zomb or the zombie strike side strike. Which, it was called the side strike because it had a little belt holster. You could clip it on the side of your pants and you pull it out. So it was on the side. So you pull it out. That's why it's called the side strike. And then right here we have the double strike and the hammer shot. These are both using the hammer shot sort of priming mech. Well, except the hammer shot has five rounds and a rotating bell that rotates when you prime it. And then the double strike just has a small AR system uh, equipped with the hammer shot sort of priming. And mechanism. then down here we have uh, my rebel category, which I also don't have much of. But first starting with this guy, this I believe it is the Sweet Revenge. I very well could be wrong though. But really cool blaster. It is amazing using the hammer shot mechanism. And then you can do that. And then it also has the small AR system, but instead of two dots like the double strike. We have four bills right there to put dots in. And then over here we have a flywheel motorized power rebel blaster, which I got at the thrift store for like $5 or something, but the price tag has faded off. So there's your jam door. You can close that, and then that's where you put in your magazine. So there is my flywheel rebel blaster, and then I believe this is the corner strike. I did actually buy this blaster new and because like 98% of my thrift store collection or of my Nerf collection is from Fist Store or Handy Downs. And then at the corner strike, you could kind of bend it in half, use that mirror to look through it. So there you go, hello. And then you could bend it back just like that, and then you were ready to go. I am curious to this blaster though, I've never seen it apart because when you bend it, wouldn't you mash up the plunger and all that? So I am going to have to look into that. And then right here we have a, another little guy. It's actually my smallest one. This is a McDonald's toy. So you'd stick it in some water and you suck the water up and it's like a little water gun. And then on the other side here you just have the Niffer Bell symbols. And this was a McDonald's toy. So wherever the information is, should say made for McDonald's. And uh, yeah, smallest of Bell thing I have. And then up here we have two bows that are going to end off our little rebel adventure. So this is a bow with four bells up front, looking very much like this guy on the front, only it's a bow version. And then this is also using smart AR, meaning if you stick a dot in any bell, you won't have to fire a certain amount of times to get to that dot. It'll just fire right away because of a little mechanism in the back that sort of senses the dot. And that uh, for this one, you don't actually have to prime anything. You just pull back and let go and you fire the dot. So obviously Vengers aren't the best, but uh, it's a bow. What do you expect? And then over here, this is the really cheap bow. It's basically a jolt crammed into a bow with no catch and a direct plunger instead of having the jolt with the plunger facing down. And then uh, for this one, same mechanism. You just pull back and you let go and you fire. Only except this time we only have one dot. So that is my rebel and category. And to the right of my rebel category, we have the dart tag stuff. I do not have a very many dart tag things. All of this is from uh, handy downs and thrift stores. Well, actually, all of this stuff is from thrift stores. Not very much of my stuff is handy downs. But anyway, first here we have the uh, ma the mag strike. I think I pronounced that right. And only except these blasters, whenever you find them, you almost never find the actual magazine which clips in the top. You pump it up with this gigantic air tank and you'd be good to go and fling some foam at people. And then this guy, I don't know the name of this one. It doesn't have the name anywhere on it. But apparently I got it for $4 right there. And for this one, you'd prime like that and then you could fire and you could also rotate your cylinder with the trigger pull. 
So there's that guy, and then this one my mom actually got for me on a little trip. Only said this one is a little bit broken because the trigger doesn't spring back into place, so a cylinder doesn't rotate like it's supposed to. But you prime by pulling on this and then pushing back forward to prime it back into position. And then you pull the trigger, and if this was working, it turned your cylinder to the next dot, which mine is a little bit broken. But that is all my uh, dot tag guns. So now moving on to uh, my largest sort of category. So this is my older sort of original end strike category. Not talking about all this end strike stuff. The stuff that was very first called end strike. So uh, gonna have to go over a lot of blasters in this category. So first starting down here, we have Mavericks. Why do I have so many? A veg only. Mavericks uh, on YouTube, all the YouTubers that I watch, uh, they have like 5,000 Mavericks, but I could never find a Maverick. So whenever I see a Maverick, I'm like, oh my god, I need to get that thing. So I have three of these guys. Uh, one of these, I know which one's my first. This is my first Maverick. It got like goofy with Sharpie on the top. But there you go, you pulled the trigger, it did that little thing. And I have three of these guys. Two of them mint, nice mint condition without any horrible scratching, just a little bit of scuffing down there. And then this is my one Sifu Mavic, which does have a little bit of stun damage if I turn it in this direction. There you go, it's all good over here, but stun damage over here. But still a cool thing to have, so I have three normal and one of the Sifu. And then moving back here is my mint condition barricade with almost no damage at all, besides one little nick on paint transfer, right there. And then over here we have my Sonic, v my, my original Vcon, CS6 which had the little light, but I don't have the bail, so it's facing the wrong way. And then we have a normal V-Con, which does not actually get displayed, but I still like the V-Con a lot. And then up here we have the Vulcan, with this little guy hanging off. I don't I don't think this was a McDonald's toy, it may have been though. But it's a little itty bitty guy, but mine has a broken plunger, so you can't actually pump it up. And then you, or you usually press this little button up here and fire a dart off. But that is my complete Vulcan with the ammo box and the ammo chain. I don't have the ammo, the original ammo. And then a tripod and the blaster itself. And then, uh, same thing with the Mavics. I have a normal deploy right, right there that deploys a normal and it's kind of in condition besides this ginormous thing. The rest of the blaster is all good though. And then over here in the corner, this is my see-through deploy, which it actually does not deploy right. The stock deploys properly, but the stock does not flip down. But still a nice blaster to have. And then moving a bit behind the Vulcan, we have my 1995 Nerf gun. That's what the uh, licensing on the back says, but it could be something else. And then we have a whole bunch of Night Finders, one with the orange name and one with the yellow, and then one of the blue one. I want the Mavic with this paint scheme though. And then behind that we have my long shot, which I actually have a complete long shot now with the blaster. Uh, but actually it's not complete, missing the bolt handles. But we do have the bill up there, which I did not get them together, so I was kind of freaked when I got to put them together for the first time. And then up here we have another bow. I have no idea what this is called. It's one of the older bows. I don't have any ammo for it though. And then right there we have a stampede shield. And over uh, right in front of that we have a titan. Which, originally my missile worked, but from using it too much, I blew the front off of it, shooting it once. And then here we have my Javen, my most prized possession of all. But, sadly, uh, some idiot that owned it before, I'm calling them an idiot because they voted on a blaster with Sharpie. Or this isn't Sharpie because I don't know how to get it off, but I do know how to get Sharpie off. But, uh, Finn, uh, whoever this is donated a lot of stuff and I have a lot of stuff with Finn on it. Or whatever that says, but there is my only Raven that has fighting all of it, so I really want another Raven, but I'll take what I get. I love my Raven. But that is all of my older Inch Dyke series. So now moving on to the next yeah, category. to my uh, like second largest uh, category. It might be the first largest, but I'm not sure. I know my elite category and my original inch strike categories are my biggest but this is my elite category being one of the biggest so we'll go ahead and start with the bigger sort of blasters here we have a new one this is the surge fire and then over we have the demolisher two and one 
which the little handle down there to shoot the missile, I actually super glued shut because it got worn out and whenever you'd hold the blaster a certain way, it moved back and forth, so I super glued it in place because I don't even have a missile to fire out of it. So no point in having it. And then down, we have a couple of the medium-sized blasters. This is the Alpha Trooper, which I took on one of my trips to the Howard Johnson, which I also vlog my trips to those guys. And then down here, we have the Sonic Fire uh, Strong Arm and my normal Elite XD Strong Arm, which I've had for a long time, so it's kind of suffered a little bit, but it still works. This is my oldest Nerf gun in my collection that was actually originally bought and played with by me. And then over here we have my Disruptor, which I did get from the thrift store. I don't have a brand new Disruptor or anything else. This guy's brand new though. But this is my Disruptor. It didn't have the removable barrel like the strong arm did. <coughs> but the Disruptor didn't have the removable barrel like the dis uh, like the actual Maverick and the um, Elite strong arm did. Like you could press a button and pop the barrel out and load it like that. But this one had a whole bunch of plastic removed, so you can just slip in darts and rotate your barrel to put in more. And then over here we have the other two large guys, or the medium sized ones that are sitting right there. So this is one of my other favorites, this is my strafe that actually does work. My very first one that I found out of thrift store was torn apart, missing uh, the battery door, the jam door, the rev trigger, the magazine trigger, all kinds of stuff, it was missing about everything but this one does actually work if I had a magazine in it it does work right now because I do have batteries in it because I like to take this one down every now and then but that is the original blue strife that I have and then up here we have the ooh, I want to call the yeah the dual strike so you can shoot mega and elite out of it by flipping this little switch up here and you prime just by pulling on that direct plunger right there so putting that guy back in place we're going to move down to a whole bunch of little puny guys. So first starting with this guy, this is the Sharp Fire, if you guys can see that. So right now I have the stock and the barrel extended, but usually you could clip this into the front of the grip, and the barrel could slip into the stock. So it could be a lot smaller, but I'm displaying it like this for the video. And then over here I'm going to show you the other two sort of weird, cheapish blasters if you know what I mean. Oh, for these guys, I did get new, but I got them at, like, Walgreens and Rite Aids and all that. But this is one of my favorites. Why is it one of my favorites? Because it has two bells. This is the uh, double... The... Uh, I don't know why I can't talk today. This is the double down. So, you had two, two bells up in the front with a smart AR system. I think... I'm not sure. I haven't fired this in a while. And then we have four spots to hold dodge right there. And then, uh, there you go, Jack Plunger, all that wonderful goodness, and my jolt is misbehaving. And then moving over here to the last sort of Walgreens cheapy, this is the Snapfire, which is actually using a name. I don't like this guy too, too much. It's basically a jolt with a Jack Plunger. That's exactly what it is. And then down here, we have more jolt stuff. This is the my three triads. My original triad that I actually had as a kid was this guy. I remember playing it with my triad with my strong arm that I showed you earlier. That guy. And these guys have suffered the most damage. But these guys I've been gotten from little bags of other toys that my sister wanted. And, uh, and she was like, I don't want the Nerf gun. You can have it. So um, I have two triads from the thrift store and one original. So I have three triads now. And then over here we have the... Reflex, I think that's what it's called. It doesn't have his name on it. But this is basically another direct plunger jolt, if you know what I mean. And then moving down, we actually have some jolts themselves. So this is my original Elite Jolt, which I like the most because it has its orange trigger. I don't like the gray triggers. That they, I think it's a symbol of being a toy gun and not a veal gun or something along the lines of that. I'm not particularly sure. Um... But, uh, yeah, so I don't like the gray triggers as much as the orange. But down here we have some Sonic Fire Jolts and some Sonic, uh, Ice Jolts. I have two of these from the little kit that was a Toys Us exclusive, but, um, uh, my Jack Skeleton, uh, puppet is kind of holding one. Uh, I think I'll show it, I'll probably show it at the end of the video or something. But these are my special little Jolts, and then back here we have the sort of... Uh, 
a zip down jolt it has no little accessories it's just literally jolt shell with a little bit of paint so the name is painted and the nif logo is painted and then this is one of my modified blasters i took the strict out of it so it's really loud when you fly it it sounds like a faker that don't have air restrictors if you know what i mean there you go there is that guy and that is every gun that i have in my nif arsenal or not my nerf arsenal but my elite arsenal so now let's go ahead and take a look at okay, modulus. so these are all my modulus guns i don't have any of the small kits i only have large blasters that uh there's probably about 200 or more dollars sitting right here and just nerf blasters so i'm gonna go in the time period that i got them because uh, i've memorized when i got these ones by heart my first one that I got was the original Modulus. I know there is a name for this specific blaster, but I call it the original Modulus because that's what most people call it. It came with a five round banana stick mag, a grip, a uh, extendable bill with a, with a male and female point, and then we had our little scope, which does nothing, and then our stock, which also sucked with a little flimsy thing there, but we could hold a magazine. So, there is the first guy. I don't remember how much this cost. And then moving up, this is the second guy that I got. This is the Vcon Mark II. This was my very first blaster to use a magazine because I got this guy before him. So, actually, I uh, swapped those around. I got the Vcon Mark II first. So, you could pull this back and drive it forward. It looks just like an original Vcon. Also, mine was a early version, so I don't have a top tech rail right here. I just have these little weird clips. And then back here, here is our little stock. It's pretty short, and then it just clipped on the right there. <clears throat> and then the next guy that I had gotten was this guy. This is the Nerf Trash Strike. Why is it called the Trash Strike? Because you could shoot all the current versions of darts. So not like uh, Titan missiles and all like the balls from the really old blasters and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm talking about the current day missiles. Uh, mega dots and normal dots being the actual core, the strike, the trash strike itself. And then after that, I had gotten my mediator and my modulus regulator, two of the best blasters I own. So the next category that we will be taking a look at is my mega category, starting with my original Magnus. I know that this is my original because I always left the tags on as a kid. I don't know why. But this is my normal Red Magnus that I got the original blaster for the Mega Series. And then over here is the Thrift Store Magnus that I harvested a penny out of by taking apart the primary mechanism. And then this is my Sonic Ice Magnus, which is a really cool. You can see all the insides. And then up here we have the Centurion, which has an incredible amount of recoil for a Nerf gun. Like, it really pounds on you when you fire it. And then on my Instagram, I also have a slow motion of pulling in, watching the barrel and all that. And then this is the Viotto Fury. You pound up there, rotating cylinder, you fire. It sounds pretty cool. It's a pretty powerful gun. And then, last but not least, we have this little puny big jolt. Oh, excuse me. Uh, um, big shock. So you can store a dot up there, fire it there, and you pound just like a jolt. That's why I called it the big And then right here, this is all of my micro shots. This is all from Series 1. I don't have any of Series 2 yet. So Series 1 had the micro shots strung on. Fire Strike and the uh, what's this? The Hammer Shot, which is my favorite because the Hammer Shot is absolutely awesome. Uh, so only three blasters from the Micro Shot series, they were all basically jolts, only so there's no way to open them that I know of. So you pull down there and you fire. And then Pretty moving simple. to one of my favorite categories, this is Accu Strike. Why is it my favorite? Because it, the accurate, if you know what I mean. That's why it's called Accu Strike. So down here with my first blaster, this is my AccuStrike Falcon Fire, which was a beach loader, so it was kind of dumped on by a couple Nerf collectors. So you pulled back, loaded your door, and you pushed forward. Uh, not, no big deal, but if you want to load fast, definitely not your thing. And then you had two spots to hold doors right there, and all of this barrel up here is just kind of for decoration. It doesn't benefit you or your firing in any way. And then up here we have the Talon Strike. Which was, uh, my mo- I think it's the most recent AccuStrike gun in the series as of this date. But this blaster- Oh, man, get out of the way. But this blaster is basically a direct copy of the side strike, but without the little side holster. So it's not as good, mostly because this side looks horrible. Doesn't even have a nameplate. 
So I did hate on this gun a little bit, or dump on it a little bit, because it's definitely not my favorite, but still a cool blaster. And then moving up, these are some more cool ones. Sorry if I'm making anybody a little bit dizzy. This is the Alpha Hawk, which is the little brother of the Raptor Strike right there, which is a fair bit taller. And then, as for the Alpha Hawk, it's it's pretty simple. It's like a strong arm. You prime right there, you fire, and as soon as you let go of your trigger, the cylinder rotates, only except you only have five rounds instead of six like the strong arm. And then over here, the big brother version of the Alpha Hawk, the Raptor Strike. Pretty much the same idea, only except without a bill. You uh, uh, would pull back on the bolt handle, you could unload your magazine, uh, put it back in, and then you could pull the trigger, V-Prime, and yeah, it's pretty much a normal uh, magazine-fed blaster, besides the fact that it's for AccuStrike. And then it came with a little bipod, which is pretty cool. You could take it off, you could extend the legs and all that, and then up here you also have this little flip-up sight, which is cool. Sorry if I'm taking off course, I'm not looking at the camera. So there you go, that's what that looked like, and then you can also stole one back there. So that is the AccuShake series, and I forgot to mention that. It's a little target. And then this one I want to mention real quick because it's really special to me. This is the little uh, fake Nerf gun that I found at the thrift store that I painted with Sharpie, and it sucks. So I asked my stepdad if we could go out and get some Testers paint, and he said yes. Um, so we did it, but um, in the process of taking it apart, I stripped out all the screw ports, so I can't really put it back together properly. And then it was clip fed, and I cut some Nerf darts in half to load the little clip. Which, yes, this is a clip. That is a magazine. So moving on from my custom painted Nerf gun that is falling apart in front of me, we're going to move it to magazines. These are just all my spare magazines from the thrift store. Just from random plasters that I haven't put the magazines in right now. So first we'll go ahead and start with um, everybody's favorite, the six rounds. Which someday, when I actually have my YouTube shed done and I have access to more utensils, I'm going to try to turn one of these into a four round. So uh, you have the yellow guy, and then you have the little guys with the red printing. You have the guys with the, uh, that were normal. With the little black printing, which there you go. There's the little fib again. And then you had the half see through. So there is all of those. Pretty cool stuff. And then moving on to the other things. This is my 10 round, with, which is half see through, half not. So you can see the little spring inside and all that. And then same for my uh, 18 round stick mag, which is the second magazine that I got after I got my Vicon Mark II. So, I kind of like this magazine a little bit more than others, but there you go, it's a normal 6, uh, 18 round stick mag. And then I have one more 18 round, this is the Stampede, I think, because it has a little 18 round max symbol right there. But this one was not half see through, it's just that. So there is all of the normal magazines, and this is my one drum, which I got for... I believe, I want to say $2, that could be 20 I'm really not sure. I know I got the fist store. But this is my only drum, so it's pretty special to me. It's a 25 round max. Then you have the little end strike elite on the front. So there is all of my magazines. Now let's move on to what some people might not like. got so mountains and mountains of fakers. So let's go ahead and take a very, very short look at these. I did not actually display these properly because I... I didn't have room, nor did I really want to. I'm just going to point out a couple ones that stand out to me. So this guy stands out to me. It's not really a fake. It's just a... It's not even a copy of any Nerf gun. It's get, well, I'm not going to call this category fake. I'm going to call it the non-Nerf category. Because some of these aren't actually fakes, like Buzzbeat. That's not a rip-off. They're their own brand and all that. Um, but this guy is a cap gun, which I bought on my trip to Virginia with my stepdad. So, pretty cool guy there. And then I had a couple of the little cap guns, like this guy. I bought shortly after my trip to Virginia. So, same base, just different designing. And then, this is my jolt, which if you take off this weird little shell, uh, there is a flat jolt inside, or just a stock jolt, which I made a whole entire video on. And then, uh, nothing else really to point off. So, gigantic box of fake. And then over here, there's a couple more things. This is my chain-fed 
Dot Zone little guy. Got it for three dollars. Only flywheel blaster that I own that's a fake. And then a couple other guys there. And actually, there's one more over there. And I'm going to point out one more. This is my yellow Tech 4. I'm pointing this out because I did a video on this on how to repair a broken dot post a while ago. And I remember being excited about having a video on that because I had friends that thought I couldn't repair and like take apart guns. And that video kind of proved it to him. So, um, that boss is special. But that is all the fakes. So that is kind of ending off the video. But right before we end off the category, I just have, or end off the video, I have to point out a couple little things. Um, one block, one blaster that is it's still in box because it's really special to me. This is my Nerf Rival Apollo. And it, uh, I took it on my very first trip that I went on with my grandparents. I was supposed to open it on the trip, but I actually opened it a little bit before because I didn't want to have to open the gun while I was on trip and all that. So I did get in a little bit of trouble on my pants for that because I did it without them knowing. But that was many years ago, so it doesn't matter now. But anyway, with my cat passing, we're moving on to the random category. This is my uh, Alien Menace. I don't remember the name right now, but it's a really cool blaster because... You can just pull the trigger and it fired. And then down here we had a proton in the nice little white thing. And then dot hold on top there. My only little water gun besides the rebel guy. A Nef shovel. There you go. And then a V-Con uh, barrel, which I don't... I really don't know how I got this one. Uh, but it does have the tech rail on the bottom there. So I have both kinds. But that is the Venom category, which is really ending so off with of it. everything being talked about. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you subscribe, watch the most recent video, like this video, and comment and share it to friends, family, and whoever you do that. Bye for now, and thank you very, very much for watching. Meg!